Hello, everybody. Welcome to Todd's Corner short videos where these are new we're doing. So uh, welcome, Gordon, to the show also. my Good morning. Co-founder. So we, today we want to talk to you guys about the the uh, miniature effects project, the um, and explain the stretch goals for you a little bit, and cue Mr. Gordon. Oh, um, okay, yeah. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are doing very well. Um, just wanted to at least um, um, make it very clear that um, the miniature effects um, project is moving right along. Uh, we actually have the first goal funded. Uh, we meaning Todd and his team. Uh, I'm, I'm just helping out a little bit in this, this particular project. But very exciting news. Uh, we're we're uh, about $3,000 away from the second or the first stretch goal, which is the second goal. Uh, wanted to at least break that down uh, for you guys. Um, basically, Jeffrey wants to um, uh, do just uh, a miniature flight sequence that is actually more than just a, a, a flyby. Uh, he wants to do a number of uh, things and uh, he wanted to at least introduce uh, a pretty good breakdown of the, the stretch goals themselves. Uh, we're very close to the $16,000 stretch goal number one, the takeoff landing of the um, on the lunar, lunar su surface. Um, Stretch goal number two at about twenty-one thousand dollar area is going to be the uh, the iconic crash scene. So that that ought to be interesting. Um, getting the actual uh, practical uh, miniature effects. I'm not sure whose eagle is going to be destroyed in that one, but uh, it's mm -hmm. not going to be any of mine. I'm just kidding. Well, not kidding about the the mine, but um, uh, he's going to have his own models and, and things of that nature. And then. The stretch goal number three, pyro explosion at about the $32,000 level. Uh, and then, of course, the stretch goal number four, war games at about the $50,000 level. If those goals can be achieved, he'll be able to do all of those particular sequences, adding those to the uh, uh, the Eagle Obsession documentary, which is coming out next year for the 50th anniversary. Very exciting all the way around. Um, I, and, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It'd be great to uh, see these additional sequences uh, added to the documentary, uh, but um, it's going to be up to you, the fans, uh, if you want to uh, help contribute to that, uh, to each one of these sequences, then, then we have about 25 days left to go. Uh, since today's what, the 2nd of November, um, right. and um, we, we got time. We got time, but uh, and and these goals are very small goals compared to you know the, the production of the whole documentary or something like that. These are very achievable goals, uh, and and obviously you know things like this cost money. He's already Jeffrey has already made the uh, the time and and uh, basically the the the, the cl uh, not the clapper but the uh, the I guess the the sequence map out of how he wants to uh, do these and that's how he came to break these costs down and it's uh, very exciting i'm very i'm looking very forward to seeing some practical effects uh happen in this um and basically it's what you wanted the the fans uh you guys wanted this and uh he's willing to open up the um open up the the window of time to do the production of this and to to get this done so uh I'm, I'm, I'm excited. What about you, Todd? You excited? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> um, this is, this is going to be fun. Now we've, we got the initial goal. It's been funded. And so now we're, uh, we're planning on doing the, um, doing the flyby. What we want to do is try to get the next goal as quickly as possible. If we're going to do it, because we have to out, we have to add these two, you know, the builds, we have to build certain um, landscapes for this stuff, the rigging, all that stuff. It, it Like, like Gordon said, it, it, uh, it costs, it costs to do these things. We're renting a, a studio. We're paying the guys, the people that are involved in doing the effects, not the crew, us, but the crew that's actually working on 
the effects. So and uh, once again, once again, it's because of you fans that wanted this. Uh, Jeffrey was willing to open up a window of time to to get this produced. So that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, taking what the fans want and really putting in uh, a lot of uh, production into this uh, documentary. That's going to be historical. Yeah, and it's a small window to actually do the actual shooting of the effects. Um, we're looking at like December 2nd or something like that to get started. So the faster we reach these goals, the better off that we can plan for it. So um, if we, you know, this is this is what we as fans have, have asked for. Um, but it's all up to, to you guys, the fans, of, of how far we go with this. Absolutely. So um, appreciate you uh, bringing me on board, uh, Todd, for this little uh, snippet message. And yeah. uh, uh, get out there and contribute. Uh, I know I am, uh, additionally, to what I've already. And um, it's very exciting stuff, Todd. Uh, this is a really good project that you're running. Um, I'm uh, so glad that we're doing this. So um, I hope you guys are all excited about it. Let's get this done. Uh, I'd like to reach the, at least reach the 21,000 goal so we can have a, a, a crash scene in there. So, yeah, you fans know you want the crash scene and you're going to blame Alan for it all over and over again, even though Koenig had more crash scenes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, go to the, uh, the, the Kickstarter, uh, link and click on it and if you haven't already uh pledge some money to it and we will make it happen that's right thank you for your time thanks todd yep yep for the fans by the fans let's do this that's right Have a great day everybody welcome it's saturday enjoy yourself <laughs> have a great weekend everybody get y'all later